Hey guys, Bonnie here from BonnieandBlythe.com and I have a really fun tutorial for you today for a hidden button placket. Now if you don't know what a placket is, it's that part on your shirt, pants, dress, whatever, that the buttons and buttonholes attach to. Hidden placket just means that you cannot see the buttons on the exterior of the garment. So get ready, you're gonna love it. The first thing we need to do is to cut out two separate placket pieces. The placket pieces measure four by nine and a half inches and six and a half by nine and a half inches. I fold each of my placket pieces in half lengthwise and press them so that there's a center fold. Now set these pieces aside. We're going to cut a slit down the center of our bodice or wherever we want our placket to be. In this example, the opening is eight and a half inches deep. I then cut a second slit next to this first slit about a half an inch away, also eight and a half inches deep. Go ahead and cut out that center strip and create a small little triangle flap of fabric at the bottom of the opening. Now go ahead and place a pin in the left side of the opening, that is the wearer's right side of the garment. This will help us remember which side we're working with first. Flip the garment over so that you're looking at the back side and take the larger placket piece and lay it flush with this opening. The right side of your placket piece will be touching the wrong side of your bodice and you're gonna stitch down this raw edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. Now flip the garment right side up again and pull the placket piece away from the garment and press that seam flat with the seam allowance going towards the placket piece or away from the garment. Now fold the placket piece back towards the garment, flattening out that seam so that you can't see any of the wrong side of the fabric on the front and press again really well. Now flip that other side of the bodice down a little way so that it's out of your way. And working with this large pocket piece, you're going to fold the long raw edge over about a quarter inch and press it. Now this is the only slightly tricky part, so watch carefully. See that center fold we created and the seam that we just sewed? Take the center fold and match it up with the wrong side of that seam. Then flip that little fold of fabric you just created underneath the garment so that the only thing you have under that seam is the single layer placket piece. Now fold over that long edge of the placket that you just pressed down so that it covers the seam that you just sewed. Now we're going to pin this placket in place. I like to pin on the right side of the fabric because this is where we'll be doing our top stitching. Go ahead and sew close to that folded edge through the placket piece and you'll be stitching along that center fold on the back. Once that's done, go ahead and press that fold really well as well as the fold underneath. Now you have the top portion of the placket which hides the buttons and the bottom portion where you'll be sewing your buttonholes. See how pretty that looks on the inside? Now flip the other side of the bodice back up where it belongs and take the smaller placket piece for this side. Lay the placket and bodice right sides together, raw edges even, and sew along that raw edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. Fold the placket away from the bodice and press well. Then press the raw edge down of this pocket piece as well, just like you did the first piece. Flip your bodice piece over and fold that pocket around the seam allowance. Pin again and then stitch along that folded edge and press well. If you wanna make this step easier on yourself, go ahead and pin from the front of the bodice and pocket and stitch from that side as well. Now take the larger placket piece and flip it to the outside of the bodice and flip the smaller placket out of the way until that little triangle flap of fabric is exposed. Now you're going to match up the wrong side of that flap of fabric with the wrong side of the small placket. We're going to stitch through the small placket and that triangle flap of fabric. From the inside, you won't be able to see any raw edges. See how nice that looks from the inside now? Now we just have to take care of the raw ends of the larger placket. Go ahead and fold those raw ends of the larger placket under, tucking in any corners or raw edges, and stitch it down through all thicknesses with a big square and an X going through the center, just like that. Press it well and voila, you're ready to go. I hope you love this tutorial. Please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. And if you're looking for more details on the dress that I showed you, um, go ahead and click the link in the description. That link will take you to the blog post with all the fabric and pattern details so you can make one for yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.